Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day. This video, I am going to try to troubleshoot this GP Risers R8. You guys know when I set up all of my 3070s and R8s and all that stuff, they were all generally just fine except for one. Now the issue that I'm having with this is I believe the motherboard. So I'm gonna try a couple things in this video whether I'm gonna try to take it out, reseat the RAM, uh, reseat the CPU. Also maybe try adding a new battery, CR2032 battery into the motherboard here and just try a bunch of different troubleshooting steps to get this motherboard to work. As the initial issue that I had was the ethernet, it wasn't lighting up. I guess the motherboard wasn't lighting up, but when I added a uh, USB, to ethernet adapter, it did light up on the adapter itself. So it seems like there is power going to it, but there's some other things that are not working on this motherboard and I'm curious to know if I can see it on, I guess on the monitor, USB mouse keyboard and just see what's happening. Okay, so I haven't been able to troubleshoot this at all since I made all those rigs on that rack, most of you guys know. So let's go right after a word from today's video sponsor. CoinMiningCentral.com Based in the United Kingdom, Coin Mining Central has been in business for over five years as one of the top leading suppliers of crypto mining hardware and cryptocurrency related products with free worldwide shipping. They have competitive pricing and offer secure and tracked delivery for peace of mind. Secure and encrypted payment options using numerous cryptocurrencies and bank wire transfers, account management for your orders, professional customer support, and even bulk ASIC miner deals in which all new miners come with a manufacturer warranty. Check out coinminingcentral.com today and use code RPM for $135 USD off each product order. Links in the video description below. Okay, first thing, I am going to just turn it on. See if it's maybe because I moved it that it's now going to start to work. So let me plug in the C19 here into a C20, or a C20, C19. Okay, and then now it's gonna turn on. All the power supplies seem to be on. The motherboard, nothing. There's no ethernet indicator lights on. As well, if I go to the front, there, the light here shows that there's no connection, uh, no initialization. So that's, yeah, that's not working. That is, that is definitely not working. So now I want to try to add a monitor. So I got a Dell monitor here. Okay, let me just see if this uh, comes up. Okay, I'm gonna plug in the HDMI. This has HDMI on the motherboard. So, maybe the ethernet jack is borked. No light. Uh, it says no HDMI signal from your device. Okay, well let, let me try to, let me try to turn it off. Okay, let me unplug it. Okay, we're gonna plug it back in. Okay, let's turn it back on. Okay, anything on the screen? N nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Wow. 
lights on in the front. Nothing on the screen, so if I take this out, plug it back in. Oh, flashed. No HDMI signal, okay. Yeah, I don't think the motherboard works in this state here. I forgot to plug in the uh, USB mouse and keyboard. I don't think this is gonna do anything, but just for good measure, there's no, you know what, we're gonna turn this off. Uh, let's see. Okay, it's off. I'm gonna turn it back on. Should be blue LED lights coming on on the keyboard and mouse. Nothing, nothing on the screen. Yeah, motherboard. I don't think it's turning on. Okay, so we ruled out that. Nothing shows up on the screen. And uh, no ethernet and yeah, it doesn't seem, yeah, it doesn't seem to turn on. Okay, we're gonna turn it all off here. And what I'm gonna do next is reseat the RAM. And uh, I don't know, just maybe observe maybe some of the connections inside. So uh, let's turn this all off. Take this out, take that, take that out. Okay, as well, gonna try to add the battery as well. Okay, so uh, be right back. Let me unscrew this back part here so that I can take out the motherboard and inspect it. Hold on one sec. Okay, the back piece is off. There's only five screws holding this together. Now I should be able to simply pull up because it's in a PCIe slot. You guys can see the block there. So if I just pull this up, that should just come out now. Okay, I have to push it through there a little bit. Now I can bring it up here. Okay, so there's a few cables. There's a cable here that I'm gonna have to take this out. I'm just gonna remember that it was on this top part here. Okay, there's the battery slot, so I'm gonna add a battery. And what else we got here? We got some more stuff uh, on the back. I need two hands for this. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Jeez. So many little. Yeah, I'm just gonna take that out. PCIe power comes out too. Okay. Look at that. Here's the motherboard. Okay, so RAM. The CPU is here. Okay, I wonder uh, if it needs to be reseated. Okay, looking at the back here real quick. Nothing nefarious, nothing looks to be dead or burnt. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I don't know, try reseat the RAM here. Maybe it's a bad stick of RAM. Okay, hold on, let me just see. What is this? This is a eight gigabyte DDR3, 16, uh, 1600 megahertz. Now, I definitely don't have this type of RAM on hand. I am just gonna reseat it back in. Okay, that's easy. Um, now, the next thing I wanna try is adding a battery. Okay, so let me get one of these. 2032 Duracell. Add that in. Okay, so that looks good. Okay, next, I'm gonna take out the CPU cooler. So let's let's do that. Okay, uh, I'm gonna turn these. This is like 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 a stock Intel stock Intel cooler. Let's have to turn this one. This one. Turn these four clips. Now they should just pop up. 
Yes! Okay, now can I just... Okay, that one's out, this one's out, this one's out. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here's the stock. Uh, that's that. Now, the CPU. I wonder if that's. I wonder if we got bent pins. That's why this whole thing doesn't work. Actually, you know, what? before I take it out, I'm gonna wipe off the thermal paste. Okay, thermal paste is off. This is an Intel Celeron G1840 CPU. So let's take it out. Let's see if we got any bent damage maybe from shipping it's bent and no it looks to be looks to be good looks to be no bent stuff going on here though there is a sticker okay I know there's a stick okay that doesn't matter that's okay because the contacts are gonna be on the round here not the center of the die okay so that looks to be fine but maybe you know, just maybe the CPU needed to be reseated. You guys let me know. You see any bent pins? I don't see any bent pins. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in. Oh, I put that in the wrong way. Surely I bent something now. Nope, still looks fine. Okay, let's put it back in. Okay, there we go. Okay, wiggle it a little bit. Make sure it's in. Okay. Let's put thermal paste back on. I'm just gonna use uh, this Noctua stuff. Then I'll put this back on and then we'll put it back in. I don't know, see if this works. See if it works. Come on, get in there. All right, ah, oh, there we go. Okay, motherboard's back in. Reseated everything, triple checked all the cables, even triple checked all the cables going back into like SSD, also into here, like the controller for the fans, I guess. Okay, checked out all the breakout board PS PCIe cables, just checked everything, just checked everything. Okay, I'm not gonna put this back plate on, I'm just gonna, we're gonna turn this thing on and, uh, I don't know. Let's see. After reseating the RAM, putting in the battery, a new battery, reseating the CPU. Let's do it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Please. No smoke. Hold on. Actually, you know what? Before I plug it in, make sure that's in. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my god, yeah, oh, we had lights. Did you guys see that? Yes. Yes. Oh, it's going on and off. But we got indicator lights. Yes. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? Oh, let me plug in the monitor. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, the lights are gone. Oh, lights are back on. Yes. We did it! We did- oh my god, I can't believe that worked. I can't believe that worked. Oh my god, I- I was not expecting- I was not expecting that to work. Wow. Okay, so I guess reseeding the CPU maybe helped. Maybe adding in the battery helped. Maybe adding- uh, reseeding the memory helped. I don't know. I think the biggest one was probably the CPU. But we got the eight 3070s. Yes, shows up, thank God, thank the mining gods. You know, I, I know some of you guys are asking Red Panda, just just go ask GP Risers to send you a new motherboard. And you know what, I didn't want to bother him. All right, Vistang is very busy. He's a really nice guy. He's also the one who sent me all the 10 R8 cases. If you guys are looking for R8 cases, go visit gprisers.com. But yeah, I, Ultimately wanted to see if I could figure it out myself and yes It worked. Wow. I really I Really did not think that would work. Okay. Uh, let me see if this actually mines. Let me get a flight sheet on this 
3070 rig. Hold on. Okay, it's mining a lithium on Viper.net, 9.4 giga hash for all eight of these 3070s. Ah, oh, oh, it feels so good. It's running perfectly. I can't believe it. I'm in, in shock. I actually, honestly, I did not think I would be successful in making this work. But guys, all right, 636, 40s, fluctuating, 633 watts, 35 watts on this R8 with eight 3070s and with this chunk and huge Asus Noctua 3070, which the plastic part here is actually touching the breakout board, <laughs> but it fits. Otherwise it fits. Mining King, thank you for that recommendation. Only this Noctua 3070 fits on this side. It would not fit on the other sides because it's a little bit wider on this side of where the PSU is, PCIe slot. Okay, guys, I'm going to put this together and actually I did see a little bit of bent metal damage on this top part. I don't know if you guys can see it. I wonder if in shipping that it, I don't know, jolted the CPU, like the, the chip in, in the GPU die that reseeding it must have helped. Okay, let me screw everything back together and let's get it onto the shelf and see if it works. Knock on wood. Hopefully moving it is not gonna brick this as it's happened to me before with other Octominers in the past. Okay, be right back. Yes, it works. It works. Finally, okay, all 10. R8s are working bros. This is what I have been waiting for. Thank the mining gods. Yes, we got ethernet connectivity. Perfect, perfect. I don't need to use that USB to ethernet adapter now. So it looks like just simply reseeding everything must have uh, made the motherboard work. I actually do have a few other like Octominer motherboards that are not working, so I have never reseated the CPU before. That's actually one of the first times I've done that. So that might be a troubleshooting tip for those that have broken Octominer motherboards. I have a few, so I'm gonna troubleshoot that. As actually, I need to bring over five, uh, six more uh, X8 server, X8 Ultra servers down here uh, for these 3070s. So I'm gonna do that. And that's gonna be for another video. I'm gonna troubleshoot more Octa Minor rigs. Uh, well, these are GP Riser R8s, but they're white labeled. It's the same thing. But uh, oh, I'm just, I'm so happy right now. This, it's now mining. It's mining now. I should be taking about 2,000 watts. Yeah, okay, so 33070 rigs mining a lithium. 1930 watts. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. We are good. Okay, okay, temperatures are good. 75 inlet here, even with those two ASICs. Okay guys, that's it. That's all I wanted to do in this video. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Let me know if that helped anybody out there that has uh, maybe Octominers and are gonna troubleshoot their motherboards that are not working. Let me know down below if that helped or not. Quick announcement, another announcement. KS0 Pro giveaway, right here. There's a video in the description from Mr. Geek of All Trades. We are gonna be commenting. You guys have to comment on his video. I have a link in the description. Make sure you subscribe to Mr. Geek of All Trades as well and comment with anything positive about crypto mining and as well as which country you are from. We're gonna do random comment picker on Sunday to choose the winner for the KS0 Pro. All right, this one right here. Then I have two more to give away in the next week. Thank you to Mr. BP. You are awesome, man. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out, peace out. Oh, I'm so happy right now. So happy. You guys have no idea. So happy right now.